<laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have reportedly offered to help the royal family as Princess Kate and King Charles battle cancer. Neil Sean with us today. What do you know about this, Neil? Are they <laughs> angling to get back into the royal fold? And do you think the royal family would take them? Good afternoon, Stuart from London. Yeah, shock about the view. I've never known that before. What's interesting about this story, let me tell you, is this. Um, I have the understanding that Prince Harry is now bored rigid. I don't know if you remember late last year, I think it was earlier this year, the Golden Globes, Meghan on the red carpet said, oh, Prince Harry's loving being part of the entertainment business. Well, the entertainment business so far consists of Meghan, uh, you know, the podcast, and now she's going to be a lifestyle beauty guru queen selling everything. Thing. There isn't really a role for Harry. Harry's job, if you like, is literally the litigation cases and, you know, sort of juggling lines somewhere in the backyard. He misses certain elements, I've been told, and my understanding is this, of his royal life. Um, the idea that he and Meghan return is, is absolutely ludicrous because she does not like the United Kingdom. No two ways about it. They're not over keen on Meghan Markle either. And, you know, what could he assist in? Because Sadly, you know, His Majesty the King, King Charles, along with the Prince and Princess of Wales, they can't trust them, so they couldn't leave them out in the public domain going and meeting people on their behalf for charities. There's certainly no Princess Anne, you know, and, uh, yeah, but... and the popularity stakes, if you look at the polling, even Prince Andrew's polling better, you know. But, Neil, um, what, what about Prince Harry going back on his own and leaving Meghel in California? You know, that's a good point, but we know that I think he's surgically attached, actually. Um, I don't know if he can do that alone. It's, it's an interesting thing. When he came over, of course, for His Majesty the King's uh, coronation, I think that would have been, you know, on a serious note, Stuart, that would have been a great time for some one-to-one -one bonding. He didn't want to do that, clearly. He decided against that. What we have right now over here is, of course, the monarchy is not in crisis. It's ridden out so many crises over the years. You know, it's simply... As, as, as His Majesty the King points out, it's a slight bump in the road. Things will return. And as, of course, our wonderful monarch said, you know, in the fullness of time, everything comes a full circle. And I think it does. OK. Uh, King Charles' team optimistic about his re cancer recovery. They're starting to plan his summer schedule. Is this what you've been hearing, Neil, that the King could be back in the public eye by the summer? Well, he is very much in the public eye, actually, now, Stuart, because he has his weekly audience uh, with, of course, the uh, British Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak. That's very much, uh, f uh, you know, filmed and put out in the public domain. The big things are, we're, we are hopeful and looking forward that he will be seen at this Easter Sunday's uh, church service. The bigger picture moving forward, and this is the big hopeful news, is that he will be able to attend Troop in the Collar, which is, of course, his official birthday. The situation is we don't believe he will be, you know, on horseback. We think that that will be, uh, of course, offered and taken in place uh, by His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales. So I think it's really... I mean, we all just want to see some sort of normality back. You know, the weird thing about this situation right now is, you know, we don't realise how much we like to see the monarchy doing the traditional things, which are barometers in our year, you know, in, in the thing. Yes. And when that slightly changes, it's very disconcerting, yes. particularly for Brits, let yes. me tell you. Oh, I remember it well. Uh, Neil, you're all right. Thanks very much for joining <laughs> us today. I know we'll be seeing a lot of you. I just have that feeling. Thanks very much, Neil Sean.